Hey guys, well, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're so, so well. Today I'm really excited about this video because I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I'm very sick at the moment. I've just developed quite a bad cold out of nowhere. It just kind of hit me on a very busy week where I've got a lot of work to do, which isn't ideal, but the show must go on. So I thought today would be a really good day <laughs> to test a face mask. I've never done a testing face mask video before, but I really enjoy watching them. Um, Shan XO does them quite often and I really find them satisfying to watch. If you guys um, haven't been living under a rock, you will have heard of the um, Sand and Sky Brilliant Skin Detoxifying and Brightening Purifying Pink Clay Mask. If you've never seen this before, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> this mask basically went a bit viral on Instagram recently. Um, it has rave reviews and everyone's saying it's this, like miracle working mask. I'm a bit of a skeptic. When I see stuff like that, I never want to buy it. I'm always like, but is it though? Is it really? But I saw so many people talk about it, I was really intrigued to try it. Even my sister bought it. I looked on my sister's Insta story the other day and she was using it and she was like, I gave into the hype and I was like, what the heck? Even my sister's buying it. So coincidentally, they actually reached out to me last week and they were like, hi, uh, we'd love to do a video with you. Um, do you want to review our face mask? And I was like, yeah, I would. I want to see what this hype is about. I want to see if it's worth your, your money, my money, everyone's money. So today I'm working with Sand and Sky to test out this face mask and I'm going to tell you guys if it's actually any good. And I will say exactly how I feel because you guys know I'm very honest in my opinions and my reviews. It is available on Cult Beauty. Um, I'll link down below where you can purchase it. So this actually retails at £39.90. So it is an expensive face mask, which is again another reason why I wanted to try it out and I wanted to see if it's worth the money. I think the packaging is really, really cute. When you open it up, it's blue on the inside and you get a cute little brush I love this I love it when face masks come with a brush because I hate getting it all over my fingers it's a much more hygienic way of applying it a little logo and you open it up and then here is what the product looks like so you get 60 grams of product for the 39.90 haven't opened this I haven't even smelt it I literally don't know anything about this made in Australia and this is cruelty free this has not been tested on animals which is great let's open it up and it's sealed, and that is what the product looks like. It's um, it's less pink than I thought, but it smells nice. It says, apply evenly to freshly cleansed skin. So I just washed my face, so it's ready. Um, let the mask dry completely for 10 minutes and then gently remove with warm water. Pat dry using a soft, clean towel. Okay, so here is my skin. As you can see, I've got some scarring. These aren't active breakouts, these are just scars um because my skin does scar really easily i don't actually have any breakouts at the moment i'm now going to just zoom in really close and lower the exposure so you can see my pores here's my nose here is the pore situation i've got an infected pore here which is fun my nose is pretty porous blackheads is kind of my biggest skin complaint at the moment take it all in <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put on a little headband. This is from the body shop. It's cute. It's a little funny. I'll start with what's on the lid. So it's quite a thick clay mask. The colour actually looks really like lilac. So it says apply an even layer. So this is blending really like smoothly. It's really, it's quite thin once you start applying it. Is anyone else finding that really satisfying? It's also drying really, really quick. Um, I feel like I need to work a little bit quicker. Okay, so I've applied it evenly all over my skin and as you can see, it is already drying really quickly. 
I'm already finding it difficult to talk. <laughs> I am going to leave this for the full 10 minutes that they say to leave it on for. Um, this bit I can't believe is already completely dry and the rest of my face is already feeling quite tight. So I'll be back in 10 minutes and we'll have a look at how things are going. I am smiling at you, I promise. <laughs> All right, my friends, it's been 10 minutes. This is how my face is looking. Very much dried, completely, really smooth. It says it's gonna detoxify, it's gonna draw the bad stuff out. For example, impurities, toxins, pollutants, pollutants, lol, pollutants, and pigmentation clusters. It also says it's gonna brighten, so unleash your natural glow, which sounds good to me. Regenerate skin cells, stimulate collagen, create a defense shield, and prevent free radical damage. When I take this off, I expect my pores to look, my skin to look bright, and I wanna feel clean, I wanna feel rejuvenated, I wanna feel better. I want to feel like a new woman. So here's how my skin is looking. I was expecting to see loads of little dots on my nose from my pores, but I actually can't see as many as I was expecting. That's not a good or a bad thing. I don't know if that's meant to happen, but I was expecting to see my individual pores. Okay, I'm back. My first impression is that my face feels so soft. Like, really, really soft. So, oh my god, it feels so sore. So it feels nice, I feel clean, as I said I wanted to. I don't feel like my skin's been stripped, which is something, because I've got quite dry skin. I often feel like after a face mask, I feel like I can't wait to put moisturiser on, but it doesn't feel really stripped and parched, which is definitely a good thing for me. Is it just me, or do my scars look slightly lighter? I don't know if that's just me, I'm gonna look back at the footage, but I feel like, I feel like these look slightly less obvious. My nose feels completely smooth. I can't feel any, normally I can feel little bumps, like little blackheads. I can't feel anything. Come closer, come closer. Let's look at my nose. Here's my nose. Here is how it's looking now. I don't know if it's just me, but my pores don't look as ridiculous. I'm really shocked you guys i'm looking up close and though i wouldn't say it's like miracle working you know like my scars are still definitely there they do definitely look better i feel like the sign of a good face mask is when you can see instant results which i definitely can but for face masks, in my opinion, it's more about the long-term benefits that it gives your skin. So if this is what it can do with one use, I'm excited to continue to use this. I think I'm going to try this out for a month or so. Um, I'll use it once a week. I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram. I literally just posted letting you guys know that I'm using this face mask. If you aren't following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'll keep you guys posted every time I'm using it and I'll let you know how my skin is doing. But for first use, I'm really impressed. My skin feels and looks really nice. We'll see how it goes in the long term. But so far, this gets a thumbs up from me. I'm really impressed. My skin's looking good. I am gonna go. I'll link down below where you can purchase this face mask if you wanna try it out. Let me know what face masks you'd like me to test in the future, because I'd love to do more of these. You guys know I love face masks. I wear face masks multiple times a week, so comment any requests you have down below. I hope you have the best day, and I will see you very soon. Bye!